In order to fulfill messaging requirements in different integration projects, RabbitMQ is a very well known and popular open source message broker which is used uh, to uh, help in achieving this type of messaging between different set, uh, types of applications and services. In this video tutorial, I will talk about MuleSoft RabbitMQ integration and I will explain and demonstrate how we can send and receive messages to RabbitMQ queues using MuleSoft AMQP connector. In another video, I already talked about RabbitMQ's basic and what exactly it does, what are different types of uh, functionalities and features that are available in RabbitMQ, what are the queues, what are the exchanges. So I will put the link to this in the description of this video for that video and in case if you are not much aware of the basics of RabbitMQ, you can look into that video as well. This video is part of a series of MuleSoft related video tutorial where I'm covering different topics and different aspects related to MuleSoft. Let's have a look at the topics that we are going to cover in this video tutorial. First of all, uh, I will explain and demonstrate how we can add AMQP connector from AnyPoint Exchange. So I will be creating a project in AnyPoint Studio and then we will uh, connect to AnyPoint Exchange and from there we will uh, pick the latest version of AMQP connect uh, connector and make this module available in our AnyPoint Studio. If you're not aware what exactly AMQP is, basically it's advanced messaging queuing, queue, message queuing protocol and it is a pro protocol which is supported by RabbitMQ and using this protocol and using the available connector, we will be uh, eligible to send and receive messages to different queues uh, in, in, in our uh, RabbitMQ uh, software. Next, I will explain and demonstrate how we can create queues and exchange in RabbitMQ. In RabbitMQ, uh, we will have uh, uh, admin UI through which we can simply and very conveniently create queues and also we can queue, create exchange and then we can have the binding of exchange with the queue. Next, uh, I will show you that uh, in our uh, AnyPoint Studio, how we can configure a MQP connection and uh, in the global settings, uh, we will create the connection and then we will configure it to uh, make sure that it successfully connects to the queues uh, that we create uh, in RabbitMQ. After that, uh, in the message flow, I will create, I will use AMQP listener and we will see that how we can listen on our specific queue and receive the messages from that queue and make those messages available in our flow. And last but not least, we will see that uh, how we can use AMQP publish operation and send messages to an exchange. And then that exchange will be, um, uh, will have a binding to a particular queue and in that way, once we publish the message to the exchange, it will be uh, made available in that queue as well. So now let's uh, jump into the demonstration and the actual implementation part in AnyPoint Studio and see all of these things in real. I have already created a project in AnyPoint Studio with the name MuleSoft Rabbit MQ integration. And here, if you see by default, we have only core HTTP and sockets module available. And we need to add Rabbit MQ module or connector. For that purpose, we will have to choose this option search in exchange. So once I click on this, then you need to have an account. So if you already have an account and you're logged in, as in my case, I'm already added, uh, I'm already logged in with this practice underscore two account. But in case if you don't have an account, you will have to create an account in any point to any platform. And then after that, you will have to log in using that account. In my case, I will simply search here Rabbit MQ. And you can see we got get MQTT connector, which is another protocol which is supported, but we want AMQP. So I will just search AMQP. And then you can see that we have AMQP connector and I will click on add. So the latest version that's available in any point exchange is 1.7.4. So this is the version we are going to use. And this AMQP connector will provide us all the required uh, operations that we can use to integrate our MuleSoft project with the uh, RabbitMQ and perform different type of operations. So I will just click on finish. So once I will click finish, then this uh, particular module will get added into our AnyPoint uh, Studio project. As you can see that it has different type of operations available. So the two operations that we will be using in this uh, demonstration uh, are the listener and publish operation. Listener operation uh, is an operation which listens for the messages on particular queue for and uh, using this we can receive incoming messages and make them available in our uh, message flow. And then we will also look into the publish and this is another operation where, that we use to uh, send or publish messages to a particular queue using the exchange. All right, 
so this is the first thing that was needed the second thing that we need to do is that we need to now go into the admin part of uh, uh, RabbitMQ so right now I'm on the admin UI of RabbitMQ and uh, this admin UI is made available after your installation on the default port of 15672 and username and password by default are guest and guest so I will just use uh, username and password and login and you can see that uh, right now uh, it gives me different options uh, like connection channels exchange queues and admin so what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to click on this queues option and here we can choose this option of adding a new queue so I'll uh, just select this option and here you can see that we have uh, option of choosing what kind of queue we want to create and I'll keep it default we have some other options as well but let's keep it to default and simple and the name I'm going to do is that uh, tutorialspedia.demo.q so this is the name I'm giving to this queue and then we can select if we want to have it as durable or transient let's choose it as durable and if you want to have any additional arguments or properties like what kind of auto expire uh, do you want auto expire what's the message time to live and there are certain other uh, configuration or properties uh, we will not uh, add any of these properties because the purpose is to keep the tutorial as simple as possible so i'll just click on add queue now you can see that we have tutorialspedia.demo.queue this is the queue which has been created the second thing that i want to do is that i want to add another queue because this is the queue that we will use uh, for our listener operation and we will push some message into this queue using this admin uh, option and then after that we will use the listener option in our uh, MuleSoft uh, project and receive the messages from this, this queue but we also want that the message that we receive should be published to another queue so for that purpose we need to create another queue let's name it as uh, let's name it something else we can name it as demo dot publisher published queue you can name it anything I'm just giving it a name like this demo dot published queue and I'll add this so now we have two queues available but the important thing is that we need to do a binding of this queue uh, using the exchange because uh, once we will use the publish operation then the queue should be having a binding with an exchange because we don't directly publish a message to a queue uh, in case of rabbit MQ integration rather we publish the message to an exchange and then exchange has a binding with some queue and uh, we have different type of exchanges available let's uh, look into that so in the exchanges uh, there are some already available uh, exchanges but we are going to choose this option of add a new exchange and let's uh, name it as direct dot exchange dot demo so this is the name of the exchange that we are giving and the type there are different types of uh, exchanges that we can create direct fan out adders and topic in the other video that I created about the basics and introduction of RabbitMQ, I already explained all of these uh, concepts. So I'm not going to explain these concepts again. Rather, I'll prefer to put the link in the description if you are interested to look, in, look into that. So right now we will create a direct queue and uh, at a high level, uh, you can understand that in case of a direct, uh, it's going to have a direct integration between uh, the exchange and the queue so there will be one-to-one -one binding and uh, based on the routing key messages will be routed to the queue once being sent to this exchange so we will keep it as uh, durable so durability we will keep uh, default as durable and uh, we are not going to add any other options or any configuration so we will just add the exchange now this exchange direct exchange the demo this has been created so i'll click on this and now i need to do the binding so inside the binding you see this exchange is not having any binding right now so we want to bind it to a queue and here we will write the name of the queue so if you uh, just go to the queues the queue name was published queue so this is the demo.published.queue so this is the queue that we are going to use for this binding so i will write demo.published.queue so this is the bind queue to which we want to bind this uh, exchange and routing key uh, here we will just keep it simple let's put as one and we bind it so any message that will be sent to this particular exchange that is any message sent to this direct dot exchange demo with the routing key as one will get sent to this uh, by this uh, particular queue which is already uh, having a binding with this exchange so message will go to demo dot publish dot queue so this is a simple thing that we have done in rabbit mq uh, web interface so now we switch back to our project and start using all of these features so let's go back to queues 
and uh, I'll just uh, copy the name of the queue. So this is the queue that we will use in our listeners. So I'll switch back to project. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to use this listener option. So I, it's, it will be acting as a source. So I'll drag it to my project uh, message flow. So let's uh, first thing first, we rename this uh, project to something meaningful. It is Rabbit, uh, MuleSoft RabbitMQ integration flow. I think that's fine. So we just change the uh, configuration of the listener. So I'll go to the listener and here, the first thing that I need to do is that I need to do the connector configuration. So we need to create a connector configuration to connect to RabbitMQ. So I'll click on this plus button. So once I click on this plus button, then uh, this configuration option makes uh, gets opened. So here we will have to provide a host. In my case, I'm having it on local host. And the port here you have, if you see here, the port that is being used for uh, admin is 15672, but the port that you have to use for connection is 5672 so 5672 is a port where you are uh, you you have to connect so that's the port where your uh, rabbit mq is listening to so this connector uh, connect configuration should adhere to that so username we have gust and the password is also gust so we will uh, use the same default username and password you can use this show so we are not going to use tls uh, as it's not uh, secure we are using uh, the plain format of integration not the secure configuration so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to see if there is anything else important that I have to configure because I want to keep it as bare minimum. So if I click on this test connection, if everything is fine, then we should be able to connect. Otherwise, we might get some error and then we, have, we will have to look into that. So you can see that test connection successful, which means that we have successfully made the configuration. So we will just click on OK. So now we have done the first important thing of configuring the connection. Second thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to specify the name of the queue to which uh, from which we want to listen. I already copied the name tutorialspedia.demo.queue. And then after that, if you want to have other configuration, because if you see here, there are plenty of options like acknowledgement mode, uh, how many number of consumers you want to have, and then some other functionalities and other features. Let's keep it bare minimum and uh, not to uh, play around with all of these features and in the, in the in the body we will just select payload by default it's selected as payload and that's what we want to have and we will just click on save button so very simple configuration of listener so with this configuration now this listener should be able to consume or receive any messages uh, from this tutorialpedia.demo.q so the next thing that i want to do is that i want to just add a logger from favorites i will just select and drag and drop this logger so whatever I will receive, I want to log it over here and I just want to log the whole payload. So in this case, we will receive the message and we uh, from the queue and we will log it. The next thing that I want to do is that I want to publish it into the second queue, the queue that I created demo.publish.queue. So uh, we want to publish this message to that queue. For that purpose, I will choose this publish option. I will select drag and drop it over here. And now we need to do the configuration for this connector configuration. It will use the same connector configuration that we use for the listener. So we will not make any change over there. And the exchange name here, we have to specify the name of exchange. So if you uh, see here, the name of our exchange that we already created was direct.exchange.demo. So let's copy, sorry. So let's copy this name. So this is going to be the configuration for the exchange name and the next thing that we want to do is that we want to select the routing key and i'll choose this edit inline option and the value that i want to give is one as i created the exchange with the value as one that's a simple approach so uh, i will use the same thing and then after that i'm not going to make any changes we want to pass the whole payload uh, into uh, that message and then uh, we will have to just uh, keep everything as is right so after this i just want to have another logger just to log that message has been published so i'll just put a message over here that uh, message published to exchange so this is the simple message that i want i'm not going to do any error handling or anything else because that's not the scope of this uh, demo we want to just look into how we can use listener and publish operations. All right. So once we have done this, let's save the project and run it. 
it will take some time to get loaded and once it's running into the embedded runtime after that we will be able to try it while it's running what i will do is that i will go to uh, this uh, rabbit mq admin and from here in the queues the first queue to which we are listening tutorialpedia.demo.queue i will select this and if you see here we have option to publish a message so directly we can try to publish a message from here so that's what we will do and uh, once the message will get published to this queue our understanding and our uh, implementation is that it should get uh, received by overflow and then it should be published to the exchange and made available in the second queue so let's create a, a sim okay let's make it persistent and i will create a simple json and i will write message so this is the key value pair for our json and the message is don't forget to subscribe my channel so this is the simple uh, message that i want to put over here okay so this one i will just try to publish before that let me see if project is deployed yeah we can see it is deployed so let me just extend it a bit so that we can see it better everything is fine so i'm going to now publish this message so message is published if you go to the queues and if you just refresh it let's uh, see if there is anything over here we can see that uh, we received this and the logger says that uh, message don't forget to subscribe and after that we have another log which says message published to exchange which means that both these operation listener and publish have been executed successfully and now if you go to rabbitmq you can see that tutorialspedia.demo.q this doesn't have any ready or pending message but published queue has one message because the message that was sent to this demo queue we published that to an exchange and that exchange was having a binding to this published queue and because of that binding the message has been published and made available to this particular queue so it's important that we should have the same routing key in case if we were using a different routing key here instead of one if we were let's suppose using two or anything else which doesn't have the configuration in rabbitmq admin so if we send like that then this direct exchange will not work and message will not be published to that queue so this is a very simple implementation how we can uh, have a con con connector configuration and after that how we can uh, send and receive messages to RabbitMQ using this uh, Rabbit uh, AMQP connector. So that's it from this video. I hope that this information and this basic tutorial will help you to get started with how to integrate with RabbitMQ. Of course, there are many other operations that you have to play around and to make it more uh, production ready and real program and real project. You will have to do error handling and all other requirements. But uh, this should be a quick jump start for you to understand how you can uh, do the integration and what are the basics that you have to look into. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as there are plenty of videos uh, related to Mule software as well as other integration technologies. And also, uh, I have my website tutorialspedia.com where you will find a lot of information related uh, on the unrelated technologies. Thank you very much.